Stayallday.com. Like I said, we're talking about getting and using help in life. And as I said, everybody at times needs help. We all have things that we want to get done that we can't do ourselves or things that would take us way too long to do ourselves or way too much effort to do ourselves when someone else could help us with it. What's going on, Kevin Lou? So I'm going to tell you three simple steps. These are three steps that you must follow if you want to get help and use it the right way and use it in order to leverage that help into success in life. So I'm going to get straight into that. Number one, Lita, you got to reply to the email. We sent you an email that you need to reply to because where you live, there are certain things you need to do to get that book sent. So you need to check your email and reply. But anyway, three tips to getting help and using it. Number one, when you want help from another person, number one thing you must do is share with them not why you need it, not why it would be important for you, not what it's gonna do for you, but what is it gonna do for them? What is helping you gonna do for that person that you're asking for the help from? Is it going to be, you're going, what are you going to do for them in exchange? You might need to pay them some money. You might need to give some of your time back to them with something that you can do. We call that barter, like a trade. You might need to, who knows, there's something else that you can uncover that you think you can help that person. But anytime you're asking another person for help, the first thing you need to let them know is what benefit does it have for them? Now, yes, there are some people in the world who they'll just get their benefit because they get to help you, because they get to give back, because they get to, they get to mentor. And usually the person asking for help is hoping that the person they're getting help from is one of those people, right? But what you need to understand is if you really, really need help in what you're doing in life, you better be willing to pay for that help. And when I say pay, that can mean time, it can mean effort, energy, it might also mean money. If you are not willing to part with your money to get the help that you claim you need, then you probably don't really need it. Because if you needed it when you thought it was free, but then you stopped needing it when you saw you had to pay for it, then you probably never needed it in the first place. So that's number one. What is the benefit to the person who's helping you? Not the benefit to you. We already know what the benefit is to you. What's the benefit to the person who's helping you to help you out? Number two, when you want somebody to help you, you need to make it easy for them to do it i.e. make it clear exactly what it is you're after what is the problem that needs to be solved what is the end result that you need to get and how exactly can the person who's helping you help you what exactly can i do what exactly can i do as the helper to help you if you're not clear on how you need to be helped you're not clear on what your end result is you're not clear on what exactly the problem is now listen i might not be willing to help you i'm not going to sit here for an hour so you try to figure out what you need help with you should know what you need help with before you go seeking help if you're going to go seek somebody's help, let's say you hire a consultant and you got to pay them by the hour. Listen, you better be very, very clear on what the problem is before you sit down with them because you're paying to figure it out. You could have figured it out on your own. You understand? So the first step is you got to get clear on what it is when you once you've acquired the help. Get clear on what it is you need help with. How can this person help you? And here's the number three thing. Number three thing you can do to use help the right way is once you've gotten some help, Prove your worth, your worth, by using what was given to you. Actually taking it, taking action with it, not just writing it down, not just saying how great it was, not you know, tweeting it out, but actually doing something with it and getting some results from it. That way, the person who helped you can see, okay, what I, the information I gave this person actually worked. They could use you as an example. They could use you as a testimonial. They can say, okay, now I know what I did is helping that person out. That's that's great that that person went and took that action. They could maybe use you later on. And if you become a powerful person, a person who can eventually help other people, now you know what works. Now you know the actions that need to be taken and you can give back to other people in different forms. Again, you might eventually be the one getting paid for your work. But if you plan on getting paid for your work sometime in life, you should be willing to pay other people for theirs when you need help. So I'm gonna give you three things again to get, to get and use help. Number one, be willing to pay for the help that you want. If you want help from somebody else, you better be offering them something that makes it worth their time, not just worth your time. Number two, once you do have the help, you have someone who's willing to help you, you need to get clear on exactly how they can help you and what exactly you want to achieve as an end result. And number three, the best way to pay off help is not just with your money, but with your actions by actually using what you were given, using what you were told and taught, and actually achieving a result with it. When you do that, number one, it helps the person who helped you so they know that it works. And number two, you've proven to yourself that you can actually follow through on something. Can I take any questions? I'll take a couple questions. This is Dre All Day, who you are watching, checking in from Miami. Mental toughness, self-confidence, self-discipline expert, professional speaker, TED talker, coach, consultant, YouTuber, blogger. 
What's going on, Russia? A cap genie 89. Can I take any questions? I'll take a couple questions before we wrap this one up this morning. My website is called dreallday.com. The podcast is called Work on Your Game. What's up? Call me, sir. Checking in from Scotland. Miss Tracy Moss. Good morning to you. YouTube, just look up my name, Dre Baldwin. D R E B A L D W I N. Dre Baldwin. My podcast is Work on Your Game. My Snapchat is the same, Dre Baldwin. First name, last name, Dre Baldwin. That's my Snapchat. If you hit me on Snap, I will reply to your Snap if you ask me a good question. So if you send me something good, I'll reply to it. How many hours do you work per day? Uh, as many as I want. I don't punch a clock, so I don't check. I don't count, so I can't tell you. Any other questions I can take? I'll tell you one, one more question, then we wrapping up for this morning. Snapchat again is at Dre Baldwin. Snap at Dre Baldwin. What do I do? Go to DreAllDay.com or just watch the replay of this scope. I said it a couple times. What music do I listen to? Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't really listen to that much music. I listen to podcasts. <coughs> Excuse me. I listen to podcasts, a lot of personal development. Thank you. Thank you, T. I don't listen to a lot of music. I listen to Gucci's new joint. I like Gucci. But I don't listen to music that much, so I'm not even up on all the newest stuff. Hello, King6. Good morning to you. Thank you, VA Breezy. Everybody hit me on Snap. Any further questions, work on your game. DreAllDay.com. If you're on Snapchat, hit me on the Snap. My Snap name is at Dre Baldwin. You already know how that works. And I got a podcast, if you didn't know. It is called Work On Your Game. It is an everyday podcast where I talk about getting yourself into the right mindset, that bulletproof mindset. Getting yourself seen, heard, known, getting the exposure you want and making things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to or for you. Subscribe to that podcast. We on iTunes, SoundCloud and Stitcher. Make sure you check it every single day. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch the heat. Work on your game.